the dying country town of Trundle has embarked on a bold social experiment. What do you think you've got? We've got everything you need. Is that right? The town's given five families the chance of a new life in the bush for just a dollar a week rent. I'm going to have to offer you a farmhouse. <laughs> Are you serious? You be. Over 12 months, we follow their life-changing journey. You may kiss your bride. Will they save the town? Whoa! Or will it end in disaster? We're just a group of volunteers here helping to improve our community. Just get on with it. Tonight. <laughs> our outlook has improved. We have all these plans that we will go forward with. We refuse to turn up to work until they resolve the situation. You know, they've let us down, sweet. They've let us down it. There's yeah. no way in hell I'm putting an $8,000 veranda around the place. Tree changer Donna Roberts is getting her two children, Tommy and Sammy, ready for the first day at their new school. I don't like school though, Mum. On the other side of town is the Gurkha family. And we're running late already on the first day. Running around like mad. <laughs> oh, shoes, shoes, no. Um, this is Tommy's full school. When Donna's late husband Steve was diagnosed with a brain tumour, they moved state to be closer to family and medical treatment. Queensland, New South Wales, OCT, and now back to New South Wales. <laughs> the oldest ones are hyperactive. I guess you get what you're given. You look like a little princess. Oh, we look so cute. A bit daggy. It's good. Beautiful, thank you. It's also the first day of school for Rhoda Ellamon. Trundle's first ever Muslim student. Hey, wave. Hey, Sabrina, uh, this is Rhoda. Rhoda's going into year two. Just around the corner is the Catholic school. Welcome, Sammy and Tommy Roberts. And with the new tree change enrolments, the school can now boast a grand total of 34 kids. Oh, you up for a coffee at the pub? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the coffee or the boobers. Uh, not open yet. <laughs> While the mums come their first day of school jitters, Dan Gurkha's all fired up after a run-in with his landlord. We've bashed a couple in here. These boards are, are so old and so brittle that they break like that. These things happen when you've got small kids. And if that's not enough to get him riled... We're using dam water for bathing. Our tanks can't provide us with enough water can be as neurotic as you like about this, but they haven't had any uh, interviews on the farmers, what sort of characters are putting up these houses. You know, for all we know, they could be bloody mass murderers or anything, you know, I mean. <laughs> so when Dan spots committee member Dole Wright in town, he lets rip. We are having a little bit of a hard time with our farmer. The times that he comes to visit us, he has been quite uh, blunt with me about certain things to do with the place. They were like, you don't want to spend any money, you spend the money that, that you want to spend on it and, and do what you want sort of thing. But it's, it's changed dramatically to, oh, don't do that, don't do this, I want it kept original. To me it sounds like you know that your farmer's not going to put any money in and then you guys don't want to put any money in. So we've got to establish this. No, 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 hang on, hang on. What are you talking no, about? No, like for materials. That's, no, no, that's, that's not what we're saying. OK. That's not what we're saying. We have been putting lacquer on the floors to make it all livable. We'll paint the walls. We'll do all that sort of thing. But there's yeah. no way in hell I'm putting an $8,000 veranda around the place. 
final tree change family has just arrived. Andrew Gallen, his partner Joe Petey, and their two young boys have scored a rambling old three better, 30 k's out of town. Joe and Andrew lost young Zach's twin at childbirth. They're hoping Trundle will be a fresh start for them all. Everyone's going to know them from a tiny two upwards, and it's just going to get better and better for them. And they're going to know the land, work the land, live it. Live it. It's going to be gold for them. This is home now, so got an orchard out the front. We've got rabbits orchard. amongst the trees. Emu. Crouchies in the dam sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they were there this morning. <laughs> In town, publican Danielle is having a hard time. The pub is busier than ever, and her cook has walked out. It's really hard in Trundle to find a cook or a chef. We don't really, we don't get chefs out here. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, it's such a rubbish job. I think it's just, it's hot and it's stressful. Hot! But thanks to the new family in town, Danielle's luck is about to change. I get to start Thursday night cooking. Well, I've always cooked for the last eight years. Danielle didn't have a cook and went and approached her and she was pretty keen. I'm very much hoping that she's wonderful and with any luck, this is my last shift in the kitchen. I may never step foot in here again. The Ellamum family from Sydney has been having problems since they arrived. And last week, things came to a head. I was looking to worry this early, this like couple of weeks, and also he's gonna move, you know, this is not her. Why okay. she said they've been singing here before? No, they didn't, Naveen. Yeah, yeah. That's not what they said. Come on, I think Naveen. we're going home. This one, the room with four and stuff is still Still if it's in the box because I have feeling also not stay here. That's why I left everything in the box it's easy to back up again. The committee is keen for the Elamums to stay. So landlord Ben is working on the bee. Just starting to move some sheep about from property to property. Trying to Get some, get him doing some activities he might enjoy and just get a few positives for him, <laughs> make it a positive experience. So, uh, and he seems to be really getting into this. I don't know whether it'll, it'll, uh, whether it'll sway him either way, but if I can keep him busy for the next few days, at least it'll, might buy us some time, which would, which would be good. Meanwhile, Doll and Cherie are doing their bit with Christy. Yoo-hoo! Hello! Hello! Hi, Christy! Hello, How Christy. Are How are you going? Thanks for coming. We bring cake. Christy, how's Nabi going, mm -hmm. coming to Trundle? Nabi's feeling? probably struggling, you know, a bit more than, than me. He sort of had visions of lush green fields mm. and stuff, and then, mm. you know, when he came, it was all brown. We've been married for 10 years and worked hard for 10 years, and, you know, it'd be a shame to sort of got here and there isn't any work and there isn't yeah. anything for Nabi to do. Yeah. If you want to sit back, it's beautiful and quiet. This people here is very good quality, but on the other hand, you, you have to face war and job, and um, the grass. Nabi has a degree in agriculture back in Egypt, and he was hoping to start up a halal meat business here in Trundle. The price of sheep and lamb have risen dramatically mm. since mm -hmm. he sort of had this idea. So that sort of, they have too. you know, That's puts right. in a bit yeah. of spanner into the works of him setting up any sort of business and stuff. We do want your, your family to stay, obviously. So where do you think you're at at the moment then in terms of your, you know, this tree change and, and staying in Trundle? Right now, we're not sure. It's going to, you know, the next couple of weeks are going to decide what we do and whether we stay or we go. Invested so much time and energy and I guess even a motion to get here, so I think he probably owes it even to his family to give it a bit more of a shot. Doll Wright has gathered the committee to try and find a solution to Dan Gurkha's gripes. 
Yeah. I've said this to him twice, that, you know, it's now it's your time to negotiate with your farmer. All these things that you're asking me, I can't answer for you. You've got to talk to your farmer. Yeah. Thing is, he wants them to provide materials and they won't. So that's, you know, he's got to yeah. respect their wishes. It was his choice to come. So if it's not what he expected it to be, well, he doesn't have to stay. Yeah. You know, they're going to be unhappy. It's the same thing that he keeps bringing up all the time. To me, it's an issue between himself and his landlord, and he needs to be the one, and the landlord needs to be the one to sort it out between themselves. Yep. They knew they were going to get the worst one. Yep. If you don't like it, what yep. do you do? You move on. <laughs> it might be between Dan and his landlord, but the committee knows that without their help, the standoff will continue. What's your main worry, Dale? What are you... Oh, about the... Yeah, about Mercadil. No, they're... Oh, well, I just think they're going to write, but I don't want to say too much. Well, she's cleaned up and she's done a good job that way. Yeah, yep, mm. yep. But potentially we need to get something in place, <clears throat> something a bit more scheduled as far as um, what's going to be done and what needs to be done. And yeah, yeah. And yeah, are yeah, you happy for, like, whatever work they undertake, we just catch up every fortnight and we just say, right, what's your next... Yeah, what's they going to... What's your next plan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what probably are gonna... a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dan's landlord won't pay for a new veranda, but he's agreed to install a new water tank. Holy shit. So that should solve at least one of Dan's belly aches. Underneath the bed. Hang on. Oh, it's Get a... Oh, nice, eh? Good tank. It's awesome. It's good that it's here now because it's a lot of rain. We might ready to get some water in it. Six people use a fair bit of water. Yeah. We maybe need to schedule a bit of a time to talk about what each of you wants to do and would like to have done for the house. So would you guys be keen to, to Yeah, have I think, a... I, that's a good idea. And it's, it's very good to, to have a, a boundary uh, set for you so you don't uh, yeah. you don't overstep the mark uh, and and uh, you know make problems for yourself. I'm waiting for this rain now. <laughs> Mate, I guarantee you, two inches. Oh Ben. I'll be dancing. I guess now that I know where I stand, it has made me a lot more optimistic and a lot happier. I think we'll be good now, you know, a lot more relieved. It's 6 a.m. and after many months of waiting, Trundle Hospital finally has two new nurses. Tree changes Claire and Tony Moore. Oh, a bit chilly. The first stop is the local daycare centre. This is the first time for little Grace. Come to Henny. Come on, baby. Yeah. Good girl. Hey, give Daddy a kiss. She's See you later, Dad. She's a snuggly girl. Good girl. You all right? It's OK. Come on, we'll go and change your clothes. Three-year-old Carlo suffers from asthma and requires extra care. Oh, little one. All right. I feel terrible leaving her. Let's go work. Oh, 